is talking about the famous 5 EMA strategy. Also, we will be operating on a minimum of 1 is to 3 risk to reward. And that's also illustrated by the symbol that says target hit. There we go. There's our 5 EMA strategy automated in just a few minutes without writing any code at all. Hi guys. Welcome back to AlgoTest. Continuing with our series of explaining famous strategies by famous traders and then showing you how you can automate it without writing any code on AlgoTest. This video is talking about the famous 5 EMA strategy also by Mr. Subhashish Pani, commonly referred to by his YouTube channel, Power of Stocks. If you've not been following our series, you should certainly check out the playlist titled Famous Strategies and How to Automate Them. So far, we've got three strategies and we've got plenty more coming up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of these strategies. All right, enough talk. Let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, first things first. Let's understand the actual strategy in the first place and then we'll move on to seeing it on the trading view charts and then finally show you how to automate. Okay, so as the name suggests, we're going to be using the 5 EMA or exponential moving average indicator. So the 5 EMA will take into consideration the last 5 candles, of course, because it's 5, right? If this was, let's say, 10 EMA, then it would consider the last 10 candles, right? This is different from the simple moving average and instead we're using the exponential moving average. So this will be a short only strategy, meaning you will either sell a call or you will buy a put or you could even sell a future if that's what you want to do. So we're going to be operating in the five minutes time frame, right? Now, this is how the strategy works. So let's say the exponential moving average for five EMA will be very close to your candles, right? So if this is the EMA, the candles will typically be somewhere here, you know, just very close to the actual candle, right? It'll be not too far from where it is, right? But for this strategy, we don't want the candle to be touching the five EMA line. So this is how we would set it up. So let's say this is your EMA that is formed, right? Obviously it's formed on the basis of candles. The color doesn't matter for now. I'm just using red. Just to demonstrate a point, it doesn't really matter what color the candle is. But what we want is, first thing we want is to look for any candle, green or red, to be formed above the EMA, right? Above the EMA and the high and the low, none of it should be touching. So if I zoom in a bit here, you can see it's not touching, right? So once this candle is formed, this will serve as our alert candle. I'm just going to circle this because this is our alert candle. Okay. Now the idea is anytime the low of this candle is broken, we will take an entry. So for example, the low of this candle is over here, right? This is the low of the candle. Once the low of the candle is broken, we will take our entry, right? So let's say a candle was formed here and the next candle, the low of this candle was formed and here we will take our entry and the entry will be, you can either sell a call or you can buy a put or you can sell a future, right? Simple enough. Now the target and stop loss will be defined as follows. We will be operating on a minimum of one is to three risk to reward. What does that mean? It means if I'm taking a risk of 10 points, then my target has to be of 30 points. And what is the risk? What is the stop loss? The stop loss will be the high of this alert candle, right? So if this is, let's say 10 points, the SL, then the target will be somewhere here, 30 points. Simple enough. That's it. That's it for the strategy. It's very simple, very straightforward. It's going to be a strategy that has some stop losses hit quickly. But when you capture the trend, when you're scalping the trend and there's a big trend that occurs, you'll be making a huge profit. Now, one thing to note over here, say this is your EMA and your candles are formed like this. And this candle is formed here. Of course, since it's not touching the EMA line, this serves as an alert candle. But if the next candle that's formed doesn't break the low of this alert candle and it's, let's say, formed something like this, then this becomes the new alert candle. So what's going to happen now is when the low of this candle is broken, 
we will take our entry. So let's say a candle was formed here. Our entry will be this, right? Entry and our stop loss will be the high of this alert candle, right? Because this is our new alert candle. The previous one is discarded. And once again, everything else will remain the same. Risk to reward will be one is to three. All right, let's move on to seeing this on the trading view charts. Okay, guys, now that you've understood the strategy itself, let's move on to visualizing the strategy with actual candlestick charts on TradingView. And then we'll show you how to automate it. All right, so we're on TradingView at the moment and we're not going to individually find alert candles and the entries and the stop losses, no. Instead, what we're gonna do is, there's a link in the description below which redirects you to some code. I'm just gonna open that file and this is what that file looks like, right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna select this, copy it, then go to trading view. On the bottom left, you can see a section that says Pine Editor. Click on that and here, paste that code. All right, now click on Add to Chart on the right-hand side of the page. Once that's done, you can minimize the Pine Editor and there it is, your entries, exits, stop loss targets, all of it is here. But let me switch to the five minute time frame. There we go. That's the correct time frame for this strategy as explained earlier. So we're just gonna pick any random time, let's just say here. Okay, so remember how I said that the alert candle should not be touching the five EMA line, right? So this blue line is your five EMA line. Let me just make it a little thicker so it's easier to see. All right, there you go. So I've made this line a little thicker. As you can see, this candle is not touching the EMA, the high or the low, none of it is touching the EMA, while these previous candles were all touching and therefore it acts as our alert candle. Okay, so this circle candle is our alert candle, right? Because it satisfies the criteria. Now we said when the low of this candle is broken, so let's make the low, here it is. When the low of this candle is, is broken, we will initiate our trade. And our trade will be, you can either sell a call or you can buy a put or you can sell a future, right? So you would have sold your call over here, for example. And like we said, you need to have a one is to three risk to reward as a minimum, right? Let's visualize that here. Our entry would be, let's say somewhere below here, right? Stop loss will be the high and target will be one is to three. So you can see currently the risk to reward is 0 0.905. Let's just make this bigger. Two, one is to three, there you go. So this is your risk to reward and you can see it was achieved by this candle over here. And that's also illustrated by the symbol that says target hit. Okay, so you enter here, you sell over here and the target was hit over here. Simple enough. Now let's move on to actually automating the strategy on AlgoTest. So first things first, I'm going to click on, I'm on the AlgoTest landing page and I'm gonna click on go to dashboard. In the nav bar, there is a title that says signals. Let's click on that. And now let's click on create your first signal, All right? We're gonna select trading view indicators. Now we're going to demonstrate this strategy. It's, it's not a strategy recommendation, but only demonstrating. For the purpose of demonstration, we're going to do this in forward test. But if you wanna see us trade this strategy live, join us when we do a live on YouTube on Monday during the live market hours where we're actually gonna automate the strategy and trade it live based on the entry and exit condition. Okay, so let's click on forward test, create strategy. So let's do this in the nifty index. You can choose whatever index you like, but just for this example, I'm gonna choose a nifty index. Select entry time as 9.16, exit time as say 3.20. And I'm going to trade in options, weekly, one lot, sell, sell a call, and strike type, let's just choose as ATM. Okay, add leg, and click on save and continue. I'm gonna name this as five EMA strategy. Click on done. Now, let's name the alert as 5 EMA long signal. Click on save. Now, copy this JSON block over here. Click on copy, head to trading view, and I'm just gonna clear out all of this. Right, now once you're on trading view, all you have to do is right click, click on add condition, select 5 EMA indicator over here in the condition. Now, here, 
you will paste the JSON block that you just copied, right? So we just copied this, I can click on copy again and I pasted it over here. Next, click on I have pasted and now the only other thing we have to copy and paste is the webhook URL. So just click on copy, head back to trading view. Under the notifications tab where it says webhook URL in this box, erase this and paste what you just copied. Now click on create, head back to algo test. And now this was the entry signal. We also want to add the exit signal, right? Or the stop loss. So click on add exit alert, name this as exit signal. Click on save, copy the JSON block. Same steps apply again. Right click, add alert, change the condition from nifty to five EMA indicator and stop loss hit. Select once per bar in the message tab, paste the JSON block back to algo test. Click on I have pasted, copy the webhook URL, head to trading view. Once again, under the notifications tab where it says webhook URL, erase this and paste the webhook URL. Now click on create back to algo test and click on start listening. There we go. There's our five EMA strategy automated in just a few minutes without writing any code at all. Now, one more thing to notice here is in line with our philosophy at Algotest, we're not here to give you made strategies. We're here to show you how you can actually take a strategy idea, a strategy template and make that your own by adding tweaks to it, right? And in that fashion, heading back to trading view, you can see where it says five EMA indicator. If you click on this settings button and you go to the inputs tab, you can change these two inputs for this strategy. So if I want to change my EMA length for whatever reason to 15, right? Now I'm taking the last 15 candles and I want to change my risk to reward to let's say one is to two. I can do that. Click on OK. Now the same strategy has been just changed from five EMA to 15 EMA, right? because now you've changed the input to 15 EMA and the risk to reward has also been changed to one is to two. So the idea is we've built an indicator for you based off of a strategy idea. And now you can either choose to implement that strategy idea as it is, or you could wish to make some tweaks to it and experiment and see what works best. By default, you will have a risk to reward of three and EMA length as five. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope you're really enjoying our series of automating famous trading strategies by famous traders. If you have a strategy recommendation for us, please comment that down below and make sure you check out all the links in the description to get fantastic bonus offers when you sign up with those links on AlgoTest. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.